Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. It is Monday. And you know, it's funny. I used to hate Mondays, but after we started doing live streams every Monday and Friday night at nine o'clock Eastern, I have grown to really look forward to Monday nights and hanging out with some of my great friends, uh, you know, you guys, of course, um, and, and some trolls because we get into all that is the Dallas Cowboys. And here it is come tomorrow. The Dallas Cowboys will be taking off and heading to Oxnard for their first practice on Thursday. Can you believe this? We have gone through the end of the season, you know, with the Super Bowl being another game that the Dallas Cowboys aren't in. We've gone through the offseason. We've gone through free agency, franchise tags, the draft, OTAs, minicamp, and then that dreaded six weeks of time between OTAs, minicamp, and actually training camp. That's this week, guys. This week. I don't know about you, I am like excited and, you know, thinking that I don't have enough time. Two weeks and three days, I leave for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, not as Joe the fan, but Joe the fan that's part of the press. I am so humbled and I am so scared, but I'm trying to get my stuff together. In fact, I've got a new microphone, a shotgun microphone that we're going to be using um, and trying to set up a whole setup to make it easy so that way I can bring you the action. So today, we had Rashad Robinson going through and telling us that <clears throat> he's going to make the Cowboys pay. They're going to pay for releasing him. And that I, I almost find comical that anytime anybody – gets left. We, we heard Orlando Scandrick kind of say the same thing when he left the Cowboys. Uh, we heard uh, Jason Hatcher say that kind of thing, that of course, everybody that is a jilted lover of the Dallas Cowboys, they get upset when they are told, thanks, but we're moving on. So another person is rather upset with the Dallas Cowboys. And this one, I actually take more heed to because it's Michael Irving. Michael Irving is kind of going off on the Dallas Cowboys um, because of the COVID vaccine. You know, I know a lot of people don't believe in the COVID shots and things and think that it's all a bunch of crap. I've had people say, you know, why do I wear a mask? You know, why have I been wearing a mask? It's stupid and things like that. And I understand that's your own personal choice when it comes to your health and so on. And I can't force anybody to do something that they don't want to do. But I think of it like this. You know, when I just got back from the store buying this microphone right here, when I got into the car and put my keys in the ignition, I put a seatbelt on. I'm not expecting to be in a car accident. And quite frankly, I hope that I'm never in one again. That's the hope that maybe the chances of me being in a car accident that kill me aren't real good. So if that's the case, then why should I wear a seatbelt? I wear a seatbelt because in case shit happens, I'm prepared. That's the way I look at it. And everybody else is entitled to their opinion. And I'm not saying somebody's is right or wrong um, one way or the other. I'm just bringing you my point of view. It's up to you to make your call and bringing you what Michael Irvin said. And I'm going to tell you exactly what he said. It should upset them. Dude, you're not thinking right, Irvin said, at uh, merging vets and players per Todd Archer of ESPN. You're not thinking right. Whatever you got, I don't give a damn. Nothing else can be more important. You're going into this, uh, you're not going into this with a winning the Super Bowl easy. Nothing else could be more important. So, when you think about this, and, and understand, the NFL does have rules. Does have rules when it comes to COVID protocol. If you test positive, you're gone for two weeks. And this is Michael Urban's 
case right here. And we did have people test positive. We know Andy Dalton sure did. We know Zeke Elliott got it last year, as well as some others. So with the mindset of saying we don't want to lose a player to injury, we don't want to lose a player to COVID either. The bottom line is we need everybody for every possible game. Um, I'm trying to see. I thought there was another part because I think he touched in on that. Irving believes that any team that doesn't get vaccinated is at a disadvantage. So from the standpoint of saying, sure, you probably won't die from it. You won't die from it, but if you test positive from it, you're not going to be on the field. That's the one getting sick and being very, very ill is one thing, but the idea of losing you, a person who may be very, very valuable to the team, that's a whole nother case. And we can't afford, we saw what injuries did to us last year. Um, We need all hands on deck to play football. That's it. This is um, what's known as a shotgun microphone. And what it does is, And I know a lot of you guys have complained about my sound quality. It is basically omnidirectional. I think that's the right term. Basically, the sound only comes into the front of this. So what I'm going to end up doing, so we'll be ready for the Hall of Fame, is this will be set up along with my cell phone and an extra light so that way it's all wireless. So if me and somebody is right beside me, we're talking and looking towards the microphone, I mean the camera, it's going to pick up just us and not the rest of the crowd. Um, That's the hope, and we're going to find out how well it works. This will plug directly into my cell phone, so this is um, another step up as Joe Boo Sports Report joins others as part of the media. Whew. That just sounds funny when I say that. But I'm very uh, humbled, very proud, and very scared at this moment. But it's going to be okay. So with that, um, I am going to go ahead and... uh, We're going to have a video with uh, Philly 500 if he shows up today. He asked me to do a video with him on Friday. What are you doing Monday? I said, I'm doing my live stream. And he's like, oh, I want to do a video with you. And I said, yeah, but Philly, you have a tendency never to show up. So more than likely, Philly 500 will have something else that will happen. It will keep him from being part of the video. If he does, we'll be sure to bring it to you as well as any other news on the Dallas Cowboys. But as always, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.